Hey guys, what is going on? It's Bane the Assassin Games here, back for another best gun in Killzone Mercenary. And today, you guys may have expected this, knowing that it's one of the last things left in Killzone. <laughs> but I will be doing more Killzone videos. Very simple videos, but very helpful videos, just like these. And I still have to catch up with Call of Duty on here. But today we're doing shotguns, as I have three classes that have shotguns one two and three we're just gonna jump right in the shotgun pistol right there does not count as a shotgun it works as a shotgun but it's balls it loses loser so we're just gonna look at these uh... uh we'll count it whatever only for easy of scrolling ls13 in case you guys have ever played Black Ops 1 or even Black Ops Declassified, it has the gun. It's a shotgun. It's called the Stakeout. The gun, in de at least in Declassified, is very OP. Very much OP with range and damage. One hit kill from a football field away. It's like a sniper. No one needs snipers. You got that gun. It shoots miles. If it wants to. This gun is pretty much the same thing. The only complaint is it's pump action just like the Stakeout and the Remington. But people don't wear combat and mercenary or infiltrator all that much. This is only a one hit against combat, mercenary, and infiltrator. Most people wear supply and some scumbags wear ballistic and blast. Youch. And combat, I think it may be a one hit or a two hit depending on range. This thing also has incredible range. You can hit it from football fields. Shotgun pistol, it's a shotgun. But it's in the pistol, so it has the range of a pistol. But it takes it even worse because it's a shotgun, so it's awful range. Accuracy is terrible. You only get three shots, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Oh, I finally hit him. Too bad it's like three shots to kill him. And the shredder shotgun damage is not the best. Accuracy is not the best. Range and clip size is definitely not the best. But what saves this gun is the rate of fire. If you're having a shotgun battle, or match, whatever you want to call it, battle match, against that shotgun, you're going to beat it. Because one, that has eight rounds in a clip, and that has three. You can squirt out those eight. Faster than that, can squirt out those three. And definitely squirt out those twelve or six. No, squirt out the eight more than this can squirt out at six, because it's pump action. So... Last but not least is the Inferno Shotgun. You'd be surprised. You'd think this would be the best, because uh, clip size is 4, 6, I think. And uh, it doesn't really matter about the damage, because it's the damage of the initial shot, and then it ignites you on fire. So it's fire damage, and there's normal shotgun. A very weak shotgun damage. With a little bit of fire. It looks just like the Spaz 12, actually. It looks just like the Spaz 12 with a drum mag. But, right here, I would have to say it's the Shredder shotgun. Just because damage, same as that, less than that, and one less than that. With the rate of fire, one than that, and three than that. When I say than that, I mean higher or smaller than that. Accuracy, just about the same on all of them. Range, one bigger, one smaller. Clip size, two bigger, one smaller. It, whatever. They're just all amazing shotguns, but I'd have to say the Shredder shotgun wins this one just due to the damage is mediocre and the rate of fire just saves it and an okay clip size. So hopefully guys enjoyed. Be sure to keep keep giving that good support. Because I really love it. And we're on 70 subscribers. I saw that. I'm, I want to thank all you guys for it. And I saw a comment of my 70th subscriber. So congrats to you. I wish I could remember your name right now. Gosh. Oh, I have to look that and put it in the description. But he said these videos really help him a lot. And I'm glad to hear that. I make these videos. They're very simple videos. Anyone can do them. But I make these just so you guys don't have to sit there and break it down. That's better than that. You can just let me do it, and eventually, if you're looking for a certain thing, comment, and I'll get to it. 
so it just overall saves you time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to keep up that great support. Keep tuning in. Subscribe. Tell your friends and family. Whatever you want to do. Tell them about my channel. Especially tell other Vita, Vita YouTubers and gamers that there's a, there's a YouTuber that does Vita, Vita games. And he's catching up. And he's going to be at number one one day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And peace out.